Hey guys, what's going on? So my name is Carson. I'm a Bugo under Gabriel Souza here. Today I'm going to be going over the four key details I use for a deadly triangle. I'm going to be going over it from close guard. Just a basic entry. Real quick, I'm going to grab the wrist and the collar tie, and then I'm shoving the wrist into his chest, opening my guard, and bunching my hips up and clamping down on his neck. The first detail I use is controlling his posture by grabbing my shin. I always grab the inside of my shin, and this will prevent him from posturing up, allowing me to attack the submission a lot better. The second thing I use is cutting the angle. A lot of people, they'll unlock the triangle, step on the hip and cut the angle this way, but I like to keep my triangle locked the whole time. So I use two things. I'll either control the arm or the leg. So to do this, I'll underhook and I'm pulling myself to his arm or to his leg. The, the next two things that I'm gonna do is make sure my knees are pinched and my legs are parallel. This is what's really gonna choke him out and finish this mission. In order to tighten the triangle a lot more, I'm gonna cover his shoulder so I can just see his arm and his head. And then from here, I have the angle I have his posture controlled, my knees are pinched and my legs are parallel, his shoulders covered. All I gotta do is squeeze and get a tap. When I shoot the triangle, they're, they're immediately gonna start posturing and standing up. So when this happens, the space gets here, but also as they're posturing up, it opens up a, a really, really good opportunity for me. So as they posture up, they stand up on this leg, which gives me access to underhooking it. So as long as I can control their posture and underhook the leg, as they stand up, they're, they're putting themselves into a deeper triangle. All I have to do is shift my hip, and I'm using that, I'm using the angle to shift my hip, launch my hips up, and notice how my leg is coming up and turning sideways. So my left hip here is rising high, turning sideways, and then relocking. Almost like I'm in an arm bar, but I'm just covering the shoulder with my thigh, and then locking it up here. By using my right arm here on his thigh, it prevents him from exploding away from me and really locks him into it. So then I can just fall, cut the head, cut the angle, and get a tap. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching. Um, the triangle pretty much carried me through all of white belt, as well as the technique that I'll be going over in the next video. It was one of my highest percentage entries, the hip bump triangle. Um, so I'll be going over that in the next video, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to see any more techniques or anything in the future, make sure to leave them in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.